Welcome everybody to Extreme Power No Handling Autocross and today we're dealing with the 2012 Cadillac Escalade ESV so uh, yeah obviously this is a big uh, SUV but not quite the uh, kind of level of SUV uh, off-roading uh, capabilities other cars on this game but nonetheless it does have a fairly decent amount of power and torque but it does weigh a hell of a lot as well at nearly £6,000 so uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what this can do with no all-wheel drive, now only rear-wheel drive and extra power. But let's see what engines we can put in it first, because we're not going to keep the original engine. No way you're going to get enough power out of that, even upgraded. So uh, yeah, we can put a 6.2 litre V8 in it. Only gives us slightly extra horsepower and a little bit less torque. A 8.4 litre V10, which is obviously from a Dodge Viper, and a 6.5 litre V12. Uh, since this is obviously an American car, I think we'll go for the uh, Viper V10. And then we'll give it a couple of turbochargers. Oh yeah, and we'll take off the all-wheel drive system as well. So now it's only rear-wheel drive. And uh, yeah, let's uh, bump up the power on the rest of the uh, vehicle. Doing all the upgrades. And the exhaust. Right, at the cams with those 873 horsepower so let's see what else we can get now with the turbochargers upgraded we are getting 1059 let's see how much extra weight these give us because I don't want to uh, yeah that's quite a lot of additional weight in this car is hardly a uh, a lightweight kind of vehicle as it is so I think we'll uh, yeah I think we'll leave it at that I don't want to go put more weight on this vehicle than it already has. Like I said, it is quite a heavy vehicle. Easily, I think, the heaviest vehicle we've had on this series so far. I think it's even heavier than the XTS Limousine, which is also from Cadillac. So, uh, yeah, this is the acceleration times it can do. 5.102 seconds to 60, 9.616 seconds to 100, and if we had a big enough straight, 199 miles an hour. But, yeah, no way we're going to get up to that. So, uh yeah, that's its stats, so uh, yeah, high top speed, but again, we're not going to really be able to use it. Better acceleration this time around, but uh, yeah, as you can see, the weight really hasn't, I don't even think it's gone down, I think it might well have gone slightly up, but yeah, dealing with now 1,059 horsepower and 936 pounds feet of torque, so uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what this car can do, because obviously it did have all-wheel drive originally, it does have a reasonable high uh, ride height, but outside of that, it's not really you kind of you know, typical off-roading SUV, it certainly doesn't match a Range Rover for uh, off-road capability, but nonetheless, it is an off-road vehicle, so uh, yeah, it's going to be going up against the likes of the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2, which is the only other off-road orientated vehicle we've had on this series, especially in terms of uh, all-wheel drive, which it had originally, so uh, yeah, let's get out there and see what this vehicle can do. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what this uh, Cadillac can do because obviously we already have a Cadillac a, a, in this series and um, it actually topped the leaderboard in the form of the XJS limousine with a time of 2 minutes 25.646 Now obviously this is more off-road orientated than that limousine it's got rear wheel drive rather than front wheel drive and uh, yeah, I think it's got around the same amount of power I can't remember really how much power that limo had but yeah, nonetheless, let's see what this car can do. Pretty sure we are heavier than the limo, though. But nonetheless, if this Cadillac can even come second place, then, uh, yeah, Cadillac will be dominating the series, to be honest. Which is a weird thing to say, because it's certainly not the kind of car company that I would uh, expect to do well in a series like this. Then again, there are weird results with a series like this because you're never really entirely sure what will be uh, quick and what won't be. Obviously, the other obvious choice is that won't be quick. You know, your eye setters and your uh, Reliant uh, Super Vans and stuff like that. But it's really surprising that at the moment there's a front-wheel drive limousine set at the top of the leaderboard for the series more than expecting to say that when I started this series off, that's for sure. And this Escalade is uh, dealing with the power okay so far. It's 
especially obviously considering that it's only rear wheel drive. Ooh. Oh dear. Well, we've had a cliff accident. This seems to be a regular occurrence, but I wouldn't, wasn't really expecting one with this vehicle because it's got the weight behind it to plough through those walls, but I guess we were just a little bit too over to the right to uh, recover properly. surprising if this is quick considering it's not even that good of a car. Doesn't handle all that well, doesn't stop all that well, has far too much weight going on with it. It's a really rather large vehicle as well. It's got a really rather long rear overhang. And uh, yeah, in its stop form with its stop power it's really not all that quick. Obviously it's quicker with uh, this amount of power in it now but can handle that power going through just those front rear look just through those rear wheels. But at least we're not gonna get any understeer from this car. And that's a pretty solid first lap time considering we went off the cliff, so uh, yeah as long as we don't do that this time around then we should be uh, Really rather fast. Certainly likes to drift. I, mean, I guess that's no surprise with more than a thousand horsepower going for those front rear wheel wheels. This is shaping up to be really rather quick, to be honest. Well, it was until that happened. Yeah, I did not like that jump. I was expecting this to be okay with the jumps, considering it's got a good, decent ride height going, but... Yeah, the suspension at the rear really did not like that landing. Which again just shows that this really is more of a... Uh, style of a substance vehicle and I say style with uh, air quotes because obviously it's not a good looking vehicle. Really have never seen the appeal of a vehicle like this. I may well do a review on it at some point. It is one of those baffling vehicles. But as far as vehicles on this series go, that is really solid. 2 minutes, 30.984 seconds, which, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, uh, puts it in second place, which means that Cadillac, of all companies, now hold the top two spots on this uh, series. Weirdly enough, really wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be somewhat around the year time of the Chevrolet Colorado, but it's, yeah, nearly... Uh, a second quicker than the Chevy, far quicker than the likes of the Nissan Sentra Nismo and Honda S2000, and it's slightly ahead of the Kia Stinger, but the uh, yeah the Caddy Limousine still reigns supreme at nearly well more than five seconds ahead. So uh, yeah, really rather surprised all that how quick this was and how controllable it was as well. Obviously, it had a little bit of an issue with a jump, 
with the rear suspension bouncing up back into the air after it landed down and uh, yes it does like to drift a fair bit but once you get both of those two things under control you have a really rather fast vehicle and uh, yeah that's despite the fact that it weighs nearly six thousand pounds and uh, is obviously only dealing with rear wheel drive now over all wheel drive and it's still hardly a great handling vehicle and doesn't really have the stopping power either but yeah outside of all of that it's yeah impressed me greatly and uh, yeah you can't argue with that time whatsoever compared to other vehicles you know sports cars and uh, yeah a fellow off-roader so uh, yeah done really well there and uh, yeah really surprised be uh, interesting to see what can actually beat these two Cadillacs now because obviously uh, the Escalade joins the Cadillac SDS limousine in the top two but yeah it's going to take some uh, a pretty formidable vehicle I feel to uh, beat both of these nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one Bye.